Shred up your summer with shredding. All right, Pro Boat's newest offer. This is the Recoil 2. Okay, uh, this thing looks sick, you guys. It looks freaking sick. Uh, 26 inch brushless, ready to run, deep V RC boat. Okay, it's ready to go, you guys. Uh, includes a 3S 3200 milliamps spectrum battery, S120 USB charger, 35 miles an hour out the freaking box. 2300 kV brushless outrunner motor. Okay, oh, this thing's gonna be fun, you guys. It's gonna be fun. So, uh, we're gonna unbox this boat. We're gonna take a look at it uh in-depth review my take on it and uh the next video we'll take it out to the pond and uh give it its first rip you guys so stick around <laughs> Perfect, man. Look at it. Rip it up. It's shredding it, son. I hear you, Shreddy. Get it, Shreddy. Get it, boo. Get it, boo. <laughs> it comes in two different color schemes. It comes in this, like, charcoal gray, pinkish purple, turquoise blue, uh, Shreddy theme. It also comes in the black and gold, all right? The, the black and gold is licensed as the Heat Wave, okay? Recoil 2, all right? Uh, it's a little more sleek and traditional in look you know the black and gold over the 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 gray and blue theme all right 7.96 inches wide 26 inches long Ooh. yep it's official the recoil 2 is freaking awesome huh <laughs> check out the graphics on this thing you guys just check out the layout of the boat man it's sleek recoil 2 is freaking bad to the bone all right there's a little quick glimpse of the hardware uh let's take a look at what's in the box okay you get the boat of course you get the boat you got your boat stand you also get your transmitter okay this is basically the same transmitter that comes in your horizon harbor tug rescue boat um it's got all the bells and whistles it's a four channel transmitter all right you got your auxiliary on off uh secondary on off for your auxiliary if you want to hook lights up to the boat you got that option four channel your throttle steering reversals you've also got steering dual rate and trim throttle dual rate and trim everything you need in a remote it's compact i like how small the remote is i use the uh, horizon harbor all the time and, and this remote it fits basically anywhere you can stow it away anywhere Spectrum Smart Battery. This is a 3200 milliamp 30C 3S pack, 11.1 .1 volt. You also get a charger to charge your battery with. Okay, it comes ready to go, you guys. S120 Smart Charger by Spectrum. You just plug it into any USB port, boom, you're ready to freaking go. Okay, if you're looking to get started in the boat and hobby, this ready to run recoil two is right up your alley it's an amazing hobby okay get you out on the water and uh what could be better what could you ask for i mean you got the boat the remote everything's included okay it's good for the beginner it's good for intermediate and advanced players okay uh we're gonna be able to prop this boat up and make it freaking fly all right you you don't necessarily have to run it on 3s this boat is a 4s capable machine okay you could power this thing up and 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 exceed <laughs> to 35 miles an hour posted on the box hole like i said it's all abs construction all right you got four thumb screws around your hatch right here the hatch itself is actually fairly light but it's thick it's actually a thick abs and that's really good to see okay it's not flimsy and flexible so like some of these cheap generic boats that you can get all right uh it fits on the boat flawlessly all right so take the hatch off here uh we got foam all the way around the hatch opening oh oh new electronics from pro boat thank you pro boat <laughs> uh, we're going to go into the electronics later on um if you guys notice the boat does not have a flood chamber okay uh the boat will self right if you flip this boat in the middle of the pond in the middle of the lake the river it will self right all you have to do is give your trigger a little a little blip Okay, that will uh, spin the motor up, uses the weighted end belt, centrifugal force to flip the boat over. It also uses the boat's unique hull design 
to actually help flip the boat over. I don't see any raised places on the on the graphics. They look like they're stuck down nicely. Okay, I don't see a seam around the boat. No seam whatsoever. They did a good job of hiding that. Uh, if we flip the boat over, you guys notice it's got a nice deep V design. Okay, nice deep V hull. It's going to handle chop really, really well. Uh, it's got really crisp mint lifting strakes. Uh, they got nice sharp edges on them. They're not too big. They're not too small. A nice spray rail around the bottom of the boat. Uh, you notice up front, you got a nice sharp keel here that actually starts to flatten out the farther back on the boat you go okay it's got a ride pad uh that ride pad's going to help keep the boat stable when it's up on plane it's not going to want to torque roll over really bad while the boat's on plane go, go, go. couple Go. boats with ride pads and uh the the handling the turning the the maneuverability uh it like no other okay shred you're gonna be shredding the water up with this boat basically um i think this boat's gonna be super fun to run okay i really do with the deep v design the ride pad and uh the the way they have the turn fin designed here uh, i think they might have nailed it okay we'll see we'll see when we go to test run it but this wide turn fin should freaking hold this boat down in a turn like no other i'm telling you this thing should carve the water up uh like like nothing you've ever seen before okay it's 26 inches long deep v it's gonna it's gonna be a fun boat to run okay you got your stainless steel turn fin and it's a trim tab combo okay that's all you need i would like to have seen a trim tab adjuster plate back here so you can actually uh fine-tune your, your your trim tab but uh for this small stature boat i think that's gonna be perfect at this price point you can't beat it okay you got your drain plug here if you get water in the boat you can pull the plug drain your boat out without having to take the hatch and all that good stuff uh you got your 3 16 strut here okay new design strut from probo all right uh the stuffing tubes actually glued into the boat. Personally, I like to see that, okay? The strut is fully adjustable. It's got an adjustable uh, hole there, so you can actually fine-tune the boat's thrust with the strut, all right? You got a, a, a thrust washer, drive dog, 40 millimeter, might be 1.4 pitch propeller, stainless steel, lock nut, and locking washer. Another really cool feature that this boat has is the breakaway rudder. Okay, uh, that's common in a lot of ready to runs. If you hit something while you're running the boat, 30, 40 miles an hour, uh, the rudder blade will actually kick up so you don't rip the rudder out the back of the boat. Uh, the reason I say it's really cool is the fact that you don't have to replace pr plastic breakaway screws constantly. Okay, uh, you, your rudder kicks up, breaks the breakaway screw, you have to buy a new one. Pro Boat has added some design into the rudder bracket itself okay they actually notched it out so that the rudder will kick up okay and you don't have to replace the screw how awesome is that this is what i'm most excited about the new electronics from from probo all right you got your spectrum 43 35 2300 kv brushless outrunner motor from spectrum all right it's sitting on a water-cooled motor mount okay uh and it's powered by this 100 amp spectrum esc not only is the speed control water-cooled it's waterproof as is all the electronics from probo okay the speed control is three to four s capable 100 amp spectrum marine esc okay uh that's telling me that we can upgrade the battery all right if you're looking for longer run times or just more punch or more speed uh you can upgrade to 3200 milliamp 30 c to a 5050 c or 5100 c spectrum smart pack all right uh that should give you longer run times and a better top end a higher top end boats are are completely sealed off from any type of airflow okay uh they use water cooling alone to cool down the electronics the, it's picked up from the rudder out the rudder through the boat into the speed control 
out the speed control to the motor and out the boat. I just noticed that the boat actually has this little brace on both sides. All right, the water coolings actually run through that brace right there. The brace is actually uh, supporting the bottom of the hull and it's supporting the, the hatch opening here. The extra support equals iron cladded out. Huh. <laughs> So you got your four channel horizon receiver, all right? It's got two extra channels for LED lights. If you want to add LED lights or whatever, you let your imagination fly. You can with that two extra channels. You got your Pro Boat branded servo, all right? Plastic gear, it's laid down to keep the CG low as possible in the boat. I like to see that. I like a laid down servo opposed to a vertical mount servo. IC3 connector on your ESC okay and uh, everything looks like it's easy to pull you know work on two screws for your speed control two screws for your servo and two screws for the motor itself um, let's let's turn the boat over here let's check out the battery tray itself all right uh, you got a long battery tray here okay you can adjust the CG in the boat with the longer battery tray to be honest with you i would personally have liked to have seen a little bit longer battery tray okay just a little bit longer and i would like to have seen two battery straps in the battery tray it actually has these pre-cut slits in the plastic battery tray itself all you gotta do is just take your hobby knife trace out the slit there cut it out you can add a second or even a third battery strap for when you run the boat on 4s i think that's great because it's definitely going to need it i was kind of bummed out when i seen the single strap but uh upon closer inspection <laughs> we've got options that's freaking awesome pro boat I'm going to throw in the 5100C so you guys can see what it looks like in the boat. And then we're going to actually spool the boat up so you guys can hear the drive line. So there's your 5100C 3S pack. Okay, plenty of room. Plenty of strap to go around it. Now I do recommend you guys adding a secondary or third battery strap to this boat if you're going to be running these larger batteries. The 5100C battery. Uh, the last thing you want coming loose in your boat in a crash or a flip is your battery it will tear your 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 electronics tray apart it possibly put a hole in your boat so make sure everything in your boat is secured and iron cladded out if you're going to be running the the you know more power more power basically so let's uh let's get it all plugged in see what it sounds like oh it has a little tone all right got my my throttle steering neutral uh, dual rates and trims are all at zero, so we don't have any erratic startup. Let's pull it up real quick for you. This 4335 2300 KV on 3S, it ought to be uh, a little screamer, a little screamer. Actually has a smooth sounding drive line. Okay, there's no cable whip. Uh, sounds smooth. So, uh, oh, that was only half rate, so let's turn the rate up. Yeah, big difference. Big difference. True, ready to run. I think this boat's going to be an SR80 Pro killer. Okay, uh, it's a little smaller in size than SR80 Pro, but similar in design. Okay, uh, you get you get a boat that has great customer service. The the electronics has one of the best warranties in the in the in the in the hobby. Okay, uh, the electronics is boss in this boat. Okay. Uh, the whole design, the layout of the boat, I think they nailed it, you guys. I really do. I really do. It's small, single battery. You can throw it in your under your arm, backseat of your car, your truck. Take it to the job site. If there's a pond nearby, go run it at lunch break. I mean, it's it's, it's the perfect all-around little boat. I love little boats, single battery little boats. I mean, they're you, it's not a hassle to pull them out, you know. Uh, if you guys are interested in the boat, there's a link in the description for this boat, all right? If you use the links in the description, it helps the channel. It helps the channel grow. I also have links to the upgraded battery, a 5100C to 5050C Spectrum Packs. Um, I also have an, a link to an upgraded charger if you're interested. I mean, uh, this charger right here should do the trick, you know. Uh, you don't have to use this charger. You could use a hobby-grade charger that may charge the battery a little quicker than this little guy right here. We're going to test it out. We're going to see if this boat's ironclad. You guys know 
me. <laughs> We're going to see if it's ironclad or not. All right, put Jack in my jaws. I think it's a great little boat. Uh, thanks, Pro Boat. Thank you, Horizon Hobby. Thanks to all my viewers. You guys are great. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Big B with Ironclad RC.